All right, Jason, this is your beautiful creation. Why don't you tell us about it? Well, a uh, few months ago at the club, we decided we were going to do, uh, we were invited to Comic-Con here, and I thought, well, what can I do that would fit in? Because normally I do space. I thought, you know what? I bet you I could uh, do a helicarrier here. So I, uh, I did a prototype engine, and it turned out pretty good. So then I uh, ramped production up and uh, ran out of parts several times. I had to do some online orders and <laughs> worked feverishly. I figure I've probably got five, 6,000 parts in there, probably about 100 hours worth of labor. Wow. And uh, finished it up at the last minute. I spent 14 hours on Monday and uh, several hours on Tuesday, and then we set it up Wednesday. Yeah. And I've got all, the, I've got all your... Uh, all the superheroes. I went and had Lou Ferrigno sign my uh, Hulk. Oh, nice. So what was the most difficult part on this? The most difficult part was figuring out uh, the circular structure on the, on the Hela engines here. I, uh, my first prototype, when I first put, tried to put it on the ship, wouldn't match up because it wasn't round and I didn't realize it. So I had to rebuild it like three or four times to get it perfectly round. Um, and then the second tricky part was figuring out how to mount those in such a way that they wouldn't fall off the ship. So I ended up putting some supports on there. Mm -hmm. Then I had uh, a weight issue where this second deck is so heavy that the bottom blue part there started to break in half. So I had to put a fifth support in to support the weight of just the back end. Hold on. Oh, that's some serious dedication. Yeah, it took a lot of a lot of time, a lot of hours, a lot of work. Had to recruit my kids to help uh, with some of the more repetitive stuff. I'd say, okay, I need 20 more of these or, or whatever I could do to get them to to help. So I, I see a mini kit in the um, in the bridge there. In the yes. bridge there, are there how many mini kits are there are hi are hiding here? I think there are in the whole layout. I think there's 20. I know I've got at least two. I've got one up there. I've got one in the crater over here. Okay. I got one for you. Okay. How much is that worth nowadays? I remember owning that when I was like oh, nine years old. The Galaxy Explorer, yeah, that's what the Lego's original uh, space set from 1978. If you were to buy one and, and it's pretty complete on eBay, it'd probably be about $150, maybe that's $200 these days. It's a lot cheaper than I was expecting, but I remember owning that one. Yeah. I also remember owning the white one that had the the segment up here and then the segment in the back and it was mm -hmm. like a yeah that that's the set that started my my lego obsession we'll call it <laughs> and so i like to bring that to shows too to kind of show that i've come from this to this and so this this motor this is part of the um, lego uh, motor kit yes that's part of the power functions um and then i just uh, put some gears on it and some chain to run it there all of them do spin manually, but that's the only one I was had time to, to automate. I would have liked to have done all four of them, but again, I, I kind of got a late start on this and uh, and didn't get as much done as I'd wanted to on 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 motorizing it. 